Hello everybody, welcome back. Trading is going to be one of the first professions that will come to the game with the Alpha 3.0 update. And in my opinion, the activity that will shape and influence the Star Citizen universe the most. One of the aspects I really like about Star Citizen trading has to do with the fact that there are going to be so many ship options for us to choose from, so many cargo vessels to choose from in order to perform not only general trading, but also follow any kind of trading playstyle we want, depending on what we are trying to achieve and what our goals in the verse will be. Different types of vessels will be perfect for different stages of your trading career, so some will be great for you if you are just starting out as a trader, and some other will obviously be much better if you are an experienced trader and want to maximize your profit. Today I'm going to take a look at two great options, two great cargo vessels that will be good for someone that has tried trading and has decided that this is the career for him, this is the activity he wants to follow in the verse and try to turn it into his main form of occupation. So let's go ahead and take a good look at the Hull B and the Freelancer Max. The Hull B is a dedicated cargo vessel with great cargo capacity, it belongs to the Hull series, a very good line of trading vessels and I have to say that it has a very impressive cargo capacity, especially for its size. According to the description of the Hull B, it is often compared to the base freelancer model, but because of the difference in their cargo capacity, which is absolutely huge, it will not make any sense to compare the Hull B with the Freelancer. It will be better, in my opinion, to compare this little vessel to the Freelancer Max, which is the dedicated cargo solution for the Freelancer series, despite the fact that all the Freelancer variants are built with cargo capabilities in mind. The Freelancer Max has the biggest cargo capacity out of all the Freelancer variants, and in order to achieve this, it sacrifices weapons and firepower. The Hull B has a maximum crew of one person, its length is at 49 meters, its mass at 67,137 kilograms, and its cargo capacity is truly impressive at 384 units, and I have to mention that it is the biggest cargo capacity for vessels of that size. The Freelancer Max, on the other hand, has a maximum crew of two persons, its length is at 32 meters, its mass is roughly half that of the Hull B at 32,000 kilograms, and its cargo capacity is at 123 units. With a very quick look at these stats, so we can clearly see that the Hull B has more than doubled the cargo capacity of the Freelancer Max. So in terms of cargo capacity, the Hull B will be obviously the winner. If you are looking for a vessel to perform similar trading, to carry cargo from point A to point B in a route without any surprises in a safe environment, then the Hull B will be the best and most logical option. But there are more conditions that we should consider as well when we are comparing these two vessels, and we are going to see these conditions and how the Freelancer Max can be a great trading vessel as well. Something else that I have to mention is that both seem to be very easy to use and can be operated effectively by one only person. They will both allow you to be accompanied by another crew member, one or more crew members, but one only person will be enough to operate them and perform trading with them successfully. And this is exactly the ease of use, how easy it is for one only person to use these two vessels that makes them both a very good option. Both the Hull B and the Freelancer Max are variants of their respective series, which means that they will have many similarities with the vessels, the other vessels of this series, not only on the exterior, but the interior as well. The Hull B is a typical Hull series vessel that consists like every other Hull series vessel of three parts. A man cab, where the cockpit and the sleeping area can be found, and it is where the crew spends most of its time, a drive unit where the main engines are, and a telescopic cargo spindle where the cargo is attached. It is exactly because of this spindle and its many arms that the Hull B can have this amazing cargo capacity. The spindle also gives to the Hull series in general, and the Hull B more specifically, a high level of modularity, 
since it can carry any type of cargo container, but also other add-ons, modules that can be ship upgrades like shield generators, sensor suits, stealth cargo pods, gimbal turrets and other weapons. Something that is increasing the value of this little vessel of the Hull B and it is making it look a much better option. At the same time though, the spindle and the fact that the cargo at the Hull B is attached externally creates some issues liability issues and of course questions of how safe it is going to be to transport cargo like this. And this is where the Freelancer Max comes into play, this is where it shines, we could say since it can store cargo internally and many traders will prefer it because it seems to be safer. This is their main difference other than their cargo capacity and one of the reasons many traders will choose the Freelancer Max over the Hull B, despite the fact that the Hull B has an enormous car capacity. At the same time, the Freelancer Max may lack the modularity of the Hull B, the modularity that the spindle is offering to the Hull B, but it offers something else to its owners, and that is flexibility and the freedom to perform other activities as well in the verse, activities like exploration. By equipping the Freelancer Max with the proper equipment, with sensors and scanners and everything necessary to perform exploration, you can turn the Freelancer into a hybrid of Explorer Trader or into an Explorer with a great cargo capacity where you can store your loot, your findings and even perform ground exploration with this since it will be possible to bring with you one of the space bikes of Star Citizen the Dragonfly or the Nox. So although we are comparing these two vessels based on their trading capabilities, it will be good to know what else they can do, what other options they can offer you out there. And in my opinion, the Freelancer Max is a much more flexible cargo vessel that can allow you to perform something else if the need arises or if you just want to do something else to break your trading routine. I believe that both will be a good option, a decent option for smuggling since they can land everywhere, even while loaded. The Freelancer could be modified with a hidden compartment or even carry crates with sealed scanning while the Hull B can have stealth cargo pods attached to its spindle. Again though, I think the Freelancer has an advantage in this activity as well, simply because it can carry an ox or a dragonfly and that means that it can land somewhere far away from your destination and have one of your crew members or yourself with the nox and the dragonfly approaching the destination undetected and performing this activity successfully. Now in terms of protection and speed, the Hull B may be one of the fastest and more maneuverable Hull vessels, but the Freelancer Max could be faster because of its smaller mass. The Hull B comes with two TR-8 main engines, while the Freelancer with four TR-5. As for the weaponry, the Freelancer Max, despite the fact that it is sacrificing weaponry for the extra car capacity, it still comes with a better default loadout. The two size 4 and man turrets it has can provide better firepower than the two sides to gimbal mounts the Hull B comes with. But the Hull B, thanks to its great modularity, can be equipped with more defensive and offensive modules if you don't mind sacrificing some of your cargo. And to be honest, the Hull B has plenty of cargo, so it would be wise if you are not trading, if you are not planning to trade in a safe area to add some more weapons and defensive modules on your Hull B. Overall they are both great options if you are looking for a great cargo vessel that will help you make a lot more money and progress in this trading activity in your trading career. Their main difference is not only the cargo capacity but also how they store the cargo they are carrying. The Hull B by storing cargo on its spindle outside of the hull, it is going to be a much better option in a safe environment, in a safe route where you know nothing bad is going to happen, while the Freelancer Max is going to provide you with more safety, is going to make you feel a lot more sure about you delivering your cargo even if something hostile appears in your way. 
Another difference between these two vessels has to do with their modularity and flexibility. The Hull B has a lot more modular options thanks to its spindle, while the Freelancer Max will offer you the freedom to perform other activities as well, the flexibility to be something more than a trader if you wish to. So these were the Hull B and the Freelancer Max to great cargo vessels that we could say have a different approach to trading. I personally see myself using both in different routes and for different reasons, but I would also love to hear what you have to say about them, which one you prefer, and if you choose one over the other and for what reason. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse. Bye bye.